honest with you guys, I just had a lot of raw cookie dough. This is what's left of the raw cookie dough. I'm going to throw away this portion of the raw cookie dough because self-control is important and life is important. By the way, this is a nice shirt, right? Like, I'm not going to lie about that, but it's a trick. This is my big secret, and it's very embarrassing. I've been playing this game recently called I Haven't Spent More Than $7 on a T-Shirt for the Past 10 Years. And that's just kind of my entire wardrobe and my entire life. It's just like finding clothes at thrift stores and outlet stores that like look like they're expensive to try and fuck with everybody and not even like expensive, just like urban outfitters level, which is still like a low level and it smells weird in there. It's like a game and it feels so fucking good when you win. Like when you refuse to pay more than $10 for a pair of pants, if somebody's ever like, wow, those are really nice jeans, you get to be like, it would appear that way, wouldn't it? Little did you know, I purchased these trousers in a trash can, so. Nice to meet you. And then, obviously, the person grabs you by the shoulders, kisses you hard on the lips, and says, Drew, you're so very thrifty and intelligent. Let's go ahead and get married. And that's how I met Martha. And I hope to God that I die before her so I never have to witness her leaving me. By the way, somebody commented on one of my videos recently and they said, Drew, all your videos lately have been about being lonely and wanting a girlfriend. It's getting boring. That's the theme of my videos. Have you ever taken a fucking English class? The Great Gatsby is about our class systems and the myth of the American dream. And my toe cold videos are about eating hamburgers in bed by yourself. Get used to it, baby. And also, I feel like it'd be super out of character and like annoying if one day I just made a video where I'm like, hello, so I met someone and I love them. You guys would be like, fuck off. Tell us how much you miss human touch. I'm pretty sure the way you guys will ever know if I start dating someone is I just won't talk about dating for like five months and you'll be like, okay, he's finally come to terms with the fact that he's single, but in reality, I'm busy eating some pancakes. And by pancakes, I mean women's breasts slash boobs. And by women's breasts slash boobs, I actually mean your father's big ass tits. I'm not kidding around Bill's giant floppers make me want to go back to high school and join Key Club. Also, I want to talk about something I was thinking about the other day. It might be like too specific and not make any sense to you, but I'm gonna try anyway. Okay. Okay, do you remember being little and like finding a battery on the ground? You like lick it or whatever, and then you like look at it and it would have an expiration date, and you'd be like, wow, batteries expire? That doesn't make sense. And it would say some year that was like super far off and didn't even seem like it would exist. I was thinking the other day, that year is probably now, like it probably said 2016 on it, and I'm here, baby. I'm growing up. Do you know what the fuck I'm talking about? Does that make any sense? Like I probably looked at it and I was like, 2016, that's the future future. What the fuck? That's not even gonna really happen. Like, what's Smash Mouth even gonna be working on? We're at a year right now that didn't seem real at some point in time. Like, that is fucked up. Everybody make out. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm declaring it right now. 2016 is the year of making out. But also, I don't even know if you guys can relate to that. If you guys are like 14 and like born in 2002 or whatever the fuck, which is fucked up. And if you were, 2016 is not the year of the makeout for you. Don't even fucking think about it. 2016 is year of the homework. Do your homework. Don't, don't test me. Do your homework. Seriously though, I'm gonna get real here for a second. This is my special shout out to homework. If you don't like homework, do your fucking homework. It actually is important because it's the shit that you like don't care about and you don't wanna fucking do, but that's the skill. It's not about the stupid shit you're doing. It's about doing stupid shit you don't like doing. Let's be honest, the shit that you're doing doesn't actually matter. You guys know that. You're not gonna have to know how to do the Pythagorean theorem when you're 35 years old, but when you're 35 years old, statistically, probably you will be in a loveless, terrible, excruciatingly painful marriage that you'll have to trudge through the pain of every single day, which pretty directly relates back to being forced to do boring algebra equations against your will. I really hope that some 35 year olds watch my videos. Like, I appreciate the preteens, don't get me wrong, but like, let's get some moms up in here. Like, some real ass moms. Like, some dropping their kids off at kindergarten ass moms. And like, they come home, they put on a robe, they get some wine, they turn on Drew, and he's talking about his ass for eight and a half minutes. Anyway, have you heard of Audible.com? It's a website. Not everything is a website. I'm not a website, but Audible.com is a website. They have books, they have 180,000 titles. You can listen to audiobooks when you're eating dinner, when you're eating dessert. Everyone can have fun. You should listen to books. I haven't read a book since like seventh grade because it was assigned to me and that particular teacher made me very nervous. I actually had a dream about him very recently. Seriously, go get an audiobook. I got one. I listened to The Perks of Being a Wallflower and it made me feel like I was a confused teenager all over again. Audible.com slash Drew free 30 day trial. One more time for the people in the back. Audible.com slash Drew. 
Oh, also I have a story. Okay, have I ever talked to you guys about going to the movies alone? I fucking love it. It's relaxing. It's amazing because it's like going to the movies with someone else, but instead of that looming fear that the person you're with won't like the movie and they'll be mad at you for choosing it, it's replaced with the fear that somebody will see you at the movie theaters by yourself and laugh at you. And I'm all about the risks, baby. Like, I love being alone, but like I have very specific rules about like where I'll go by myself. Like, I don't want to be laughed at. That's like kind of my biggest fear. Like, I'll go to Wendy's by myself. Like, you're supposed to go to Wendy's by yourself. Yourself. They won't let you in if you bring someone else. If you bring someone with you to Wendy's, they lock the door and they're like, sorry, we don't do that here. So I'll go to Wendy's alone. Like, I'm totally comfortable with that, but I'm not gonna go to a fucking, like, cheesecake factory by myself. Like, that can't fucking happen. That's where cool friends go and they hang out at their cool table. I honestly won't even go to Denny's by myself. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Denny's is trashy. No, it's fucking not. Denny's is hip as fuck. Hot people are there and you know it. But I do go to the movies by myself. I try not to go on the weekends because there's, like, more people there and, like, crowds and stuff, which makes me more self-conscious and more nervous. And so Sometimes, not very often, I don't like to talk about this a lot, but sometimes in public, people come up to me because they've seen my videos on YouTube, and that's always a little bit scary, because the first instinct in the back of my head when someone's walking toward me smiling is that they're gonna be like, wow, those basketball shorts do not fit, and your hair looks bad. Go home, bitch. Which doesn't happen, they never say that. One time someone did come up to me in public and say, are you Shane Dawson? And I said, honestly, kind of. I'm like, I don't mind that. Like, it's nice, I appreciate it. It is my biggest fear when I'm at the movies by myself, because someone's gonna, like, catch me and, like, judge me. They're gonna be like, is that Drew from the internet app? the movies alone? Is he a fucking serial killer? I'm unsubscribing. Anyway, it was like 10 o'clock and I still hadn't eaten dinner because like that's the kind of person I am and I wanted to get food at the movies. I love buying food at the movies. It's very expensive and like I don't make a lot of money but like I make enough money to where like I can afford to take people out on dates but like I don't do that so I just buy myself food at the movies and it averages out to like the same thing. So I was in line waiting for my food. It was like a long line because it was a Saturday which is a risk. Obviously the objective when you're at the movies by yourself is to be seen by as few people as possible saving yourself the embarrassment just kind of weasel your way in there by waiting at the concessions you are therefore exposing yourself to several more moviegoers and I was like feeling scared because I'm like it's a weekend everyone's like obviously there with their dates and stuff and this looks so sad I'm just here getting snacks by myself but then I'm like oh wait what if they think I am on a date and my date's inside the movie theater and I'm just a fucking gentleman I look like the hero I'm getting snacks while she's resting her little fucking date feet here I am baby and I was like really hungry so I was going to like the shady side of the movie theater menu that no one ever goes to where it's like what the fuck they have hamburgers. They're always like super tiny. They always fuck with you. You're like, oh, chicken strips. And then you get them. It's like five Hershey's Kiss sized pieces of bread. Like, no. So knowing that everything was tiny, I got myself a lot. I got myself two personal sized pizzas, two of them, some Sour Patch Kids, and a cookie sandwich. And before you say, Drew, you're gonna kill yourself eating all that terrible food, let me say, global warming is real. We're going out pretty soon. Shut the fuck up. Let me have my chips ahoy. And then they told me I had to wait for it. You know how sometimes when you get that kind of food at the movies, they're like, yeah, we have to heat it up. Like, I feel like they're bluffing. They're trying to make you feel better about your disgusting food choice. They're like, we'll put it in the oven. One second. They like pull it out of the broken Easy Bake oven and like wipe the dust off for 10 minutes. But they have like a hot movie theater food waiting area. So like I'm with the other people that delved into that section of the menu, which is like an interesting group of people. Like you can't really trust them. And like I'm one of them. Like I admit it. Like we're the people that let 16 year old Devin with popcorn butter hands take care of our dinner entree. Like we're fucked up. Like ordering a cheeseburger at a movie theater is like something a sociopath would do. By the way, cheeseburger at movie theaters, if God created everything on earth, let's just think about this for a second, like, that was his idea. I'm like, I love God, I'm like super into you and everything, but that's like kind of an odd choice. It's like when a YouTuber like makes a really bad short film, and it's like, okay, I respect it, you're branching out, like it's more entertaining than your Q&As, but like, it's a cheeseburger at a movie theater. What are you doing? So I'm waiting for my hot pizzas, and eventually a box comes out, the concessions guy is like, here's some pizza, and like, I go up thinking that it's mine in there, and they like, put two in the same box, and another guy at the same time comes up and we're both looking at this pizza thinking it's ours and we're like taking our receipts out and like comparing it and like the workers like trying to figure it out and at one point I had to say something I did not plan on saying and I never wanted to say out loud again after ordering it which is no that's not mine I got two pizzas. I had to say that it was like the worst possible outcome it was like being rubbed in my face I was like can't I just fucking get out of here get my pizzas but no it was like a whole complication and it was becoming like public like it was a thing like it was two seconds away from someone getting on the loudspeaker like will the owner of the two big as fuck grease movie theater pizzas come up and receive their embarrassing purchase what's that oh i am now getting word that this purchase was made by a single customer
customer probably by himself at the movies. Folks, this is unprecedented. I've never heard of something like this. Can everybody please make room for whatever fatty has done this? I don't know who this man is, but if he doesn't get his pepperoni soon, I can only imagine the kind of punches he'll be throwing with his chubby, chubby arms. Anyway, it all worked out. I got my pizzas. By the way, they were not fucking small like I thought they were going to be. These were giant motherfuckers. Like, it was way too much food. And did I eat all of it, including the cookie sandwich? Yes, I did, sir. How dare you even insinuate that I wouldn't? I just realized this was a video. I'm just talking about eating pizzas. Is anyone even watching? Is it just my grandma? This is the end. It's over. I hope you liked it. Let's sing. Ready? Ah! Is it over? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it!